Welcome back guys. Today we're going to do a really quick, super fast video on how to create stacked text using easel. So let's jump right into it. Okay, so first things first, we're going to go ahead and select a rectangle and we're going to put it to, uh, we're going to size it out to where there's like a one inch border. So we're going to go ahead and, oh, nope, not 11. We're going to make this 10 by 6 because we're 12 by 8. So next thing we're going to do is going to come up here and just center it to material so it's right in the center. And next up is uh, coming over here and selecting our font that we're going to use. Uh, we're just going to pick this uh, Bemio or whatever it is. Change our depth to, uh, let's do half of what it is. Uh, and we're going to spell out home. Now, let's go ahead and size this up. Make it a little bit bigger so that it fits the rectangle a little better. So we're going to mess around with some of the sizes, see what we can do as far as getting it to fit. Center it to material. Move this out of the way so we can see actually what we're doing. And uh, like I said, we're just going to kind of play with the size a little bit, make it fit the, uh, not that, uh, we're going to make this uh, fit in the cut a little bit better. So, uh, nope, don't want to do that. I want to just, we'll just eyeball it. So, once you got it basically where you want it, um, what we can do is then go in and let's select our next uh, text, which... Uh, we're going to select, uh, yeah, well, let's go with this one, Bebus. And with this one, since it's going to be on the very top, we want it to cut at a depth of zero. And we will write out our second text, which is going to be Sweet Home. So it says Home Sweet Home. And then we're going to click on it and move it up into place stretch it out and kind of do the same thing that we did with the initial one kind of just play with the size kind of eyeball it get it to where it's pretty centered to where it looks good and you can always see your uh, preview right here um, you can see your depth we're gonna go ahead and let's do this with a v-bit 60 degree v-bit actually looks a whole lot better and uh, you can s scoot this over and see that it looks pretty good maybe bring this in a little bit so you can get a little less on the on the edges but at this point it's just making it look the way you want it it's not nothing more than placing it where you want it to place it but as you can see the big uh, mystery of it is just setting your cut depth so that the one on the very top is cut shallower than the one on the middle and then your rectangle being cut deeper than the rest of everything it's that simple super easy to do uh, if you have any questions or you'd like to see more easel um, demos or how-tos, let me know in the comments below. And uh, until next time, keep building, keep having fun. See you later.